Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Frank from F Files Gaming. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and it is time to for an episode of Dark Souls Remastered, episode two. And we are gonna do it up. So here we go. So yeah, I woke up today to people unsubscribing, and I'm like, alright, fuck you, you know, I don't need y'all anyway, <laughs> this F-Files is, is for, for the real ones, so, I appreciate y'all the real ones that do subscribe and keep it real with me, it's been fun, and, uh, I enjoy doing this for you guys, and not even, you know, just to do it, uh, so, that's the whole real point of it. You know, it's nice, I mean, I know this is an old game and all, but it loads really fucking quick. You know what's really odd about this one, guys? You get Estus flasks, like, right away. Like, look, I've got 11 now. I never, it's usually up with 10, it's usually 10, and usually you have to find them, you start out with like 3 in the other games, so you, it's kind of cool how you get them right away. Alright, so, we're gonna restore humanity. I don't have humanity? Huh. Thought I did. I guess not. Alright, so... I figured out that you're really not supposed to fight those skellies yet. So, you want to, like, in my last playthrough, I, I ran around and grabbed all the items from that area. Um, from the skellies. So, we're going to go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. So, we're, spo we're supposed to go um, to the right, this way, up these steps. And we're trying to, uh, the goal is to make it to the undead parish. And watch the cliff. So, Alright, so you're gonna come up on these guys. And... Oh my god, I'm hitting the low long buttons. I'm sorry. <laughs> and there's the backstab everyone loves. Oh shit. Yeah, you should probably be using your shield. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, jump over. And then be real careful and climb around this. And you'll have an item that you want to grab. And that's the Ring of Sacrifice. What the Ring of Sacrifice does is it basically it stops you, um, stops you from losing your souls. But you can only use it once, so you want to sit. You're probably gonna to want to save that until you uh, progress further into the game. Oh, he's throwing bombs at me. Eat shit, son. All right. I love these games. I really do, and I just and I love the art to them. I gotta remember it's not very long. <laughs> not, like, was, the controls are so different. Not so different, but they're, they're a little different. <laughs> oh shit, I got a Hollow Warrior helmet. That's cool. Let's check it out. So... My standard helmet that is better. Although, I why why can't I use it? Hmm. Weird.
Let me see what's up. What's up, Reese? Oh, kitty cats scratching at the door. Hey, Reese. What? You want your morning treats? No one's up. You don't have to wait, baby girl. All right. So maybe I don't fit the requirements yet to throw that helmet, which is fun. That's how these games are. So, all right, you grab your soul item, and uh, you're going to find a rat. And... Oh, my God. Hit the S just flashed again. Lots of soul items, and uh, you're going to need to buy a short bow and some arrows for the next oncoming part, and you'll, I'll show you exactly where the merchant is and all that, but um, in order to, for you to get past a, a part, you're going to need them. It just makes your life a thousand times easier. Um, Alright, so obviously you got your, skele or your hollows here you want to take care of. And yeah, you might want to fight these guys with your shield so you can let them bounce off you. But if you're quick enough, you, uh, you can pretty much one-shot them with if you're two-handing it. Now break this shit, come down here, soul item. Bam. And now you have no choice but to come down here. Watch for ambush. This is an ambush. It's all good, though. You got your guy throwing fire bombs at you too. You want to watch for that. So, all right, you find yourself here. And um, I'm gonna run through here real quick. This might be where the merchant is. It's not. Um, smack these guys off before they even come. Oh shit. Bam. Get grab some rubbish. Come up here. Alright. I'm going to run all the way over here. Grab your soul item. You keep hitting the long buttons. By the way, uh, that the way you kick is basically you run and then you hit me. Um, like you said, watch. Run. I don't know. It's actually kind of really weird um, to, to get that off. Oh, shit. Firebomb guy. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, so... Um, there's actually... I think there's an ambush down there as well, and there's a point to go down there, but we'll get back to that. Um, now, before you traverse the mist, you want to come through here... Get a backstab if you can off this on this guy. Backstabbing can be an, uh, a little tricky to get used to. I'm obviously having a little bit of trouble with it. And it's going to come really in handy in, in a minute. When we're we're going to be fighting a, a, a boss. Well, he's not a boss, but he's the first black knight that you face. And it gives you, and he has a chance to drop something really good. So you want, you definitely want to beat him. Um, he's just going to be proved to be a little tough in the beginning. So, um, yeah, there's that. But you know, we, we're going to we're going to get him, and I'll show you the the best way to do it. Because you want you want to you want a chance at that gear. He's going to drop. Um, what is down here? This I'm not sure about. I think this might be the way. Or, oh, this is the way we came from. I'm an idiot. Oopsie daisies. All right. What the hell? Watch when you're in fucking closed areas, you, you can swing and hit the wall. And that can prove to be a devastating mistake. I don't even know where he came from. That was odd. Uh, so, um, before we traverse the mist, we want to jump back down again. Alright, and um, I think, like I said, I think I missed something here. Um, if not that, there's an ambush, but I guess we killed everybody. 
Alright, I think we're ready to traverse the mists. I would say yes we are. Okay, why does he keep backpedaling? I don't know. Right. Yeah, we're ready for the mist here. Alright, see that item down there? Obviously you gotta grab that too. Um, which, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. I think there might be a door down there. Uh, we'll figure it out once we get through here. Alright, so, I don't think there's anything in this, but you want to check. Alright, soul item. So we got our window down, nothing, of course. Um, I'm, I'm very doubtful you can jump that. Maybe you can. Um, Alright, so we come up here. This dragon's just, just for show, for now. We'll, we'll see him later. He just comes and scares you a little bit. So, got our hollows. Take him out. Try to single take one, take them out single-handedly. Oh, watch a, a fucking arrow guy. You know, always keep an eye on that stamina. Oh, they're dropping armor for us. That's cool. All right, so yeah, obviously you want to run up here and go kill this dude before he. Shoot you up. Alright. Alright, so now you want to run up here and grab your bonfire. Don't kindle it yet. Because you're going to have to fight everything yet. Unless you need to for, to get your flasks back. But I think we'll be okay with what we got. Alright. Oh, is there something there? No. Okay. Alright, so now before we continue this way, um, there's a couple things we gotta do. Alright, so obviously that whole area over there, but let's check this area out. There's something over here we missed, a little flight, a little mob flight. Alright, red skellies, they're a little harder. They're blocking, so you might want to try backstab them. Let that stamina regenerate. There we go. Backstab. And there you go. There's a little hidden path in the boxes. And, uh, always break these boxes. And make sure you get everything you can. Alright, so come down here through the hidden path. And our merchant should be on the right here, if I'm remembering correctly. And that's where you're going to get your short bow, which is a neat a must. And there's a little, I, can, I just noticed him now, a little sneaky boy over here, scary, trying to scare you. Come on, bitch. Trying to get that backstab off. You got to get used to doing that. All right. I suck at it. All right. All right, so here's our merchant. Don't hit him. Don't hurt him. Talk to him. Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you. Then you are a welcome customer. Well, yes, I, I do have my wits sales. about me. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's a little weird, but it's okay. It's just like every, I mean, everything's a little, just a little strange in this game. That's just how they are. <laughs> All right, so um. I guess exhaust the dialogue, why not? You're supposed to do that with everything.
Alright, well, so he just talks about the dragon and shit. And, yeah, look at him. He's just a straight up undead. He's cool looking. <laughs> I love the game. I love the character. I love the design in this game. It's so cool. Even how, like, my dude's a corpse right now. Look at him. He's a straight up zombie. But anyway, alright. So, with this guy, there's a bunch of shit that um, is useful you can buy from him. Now, it is important to note, you can kill him. Um, it's not going to hurt, but affect you that much. Uh, there, so, people are kind of half and half on killing this guy. Um, if you do kill him, you get the Uchi Katana right away. So, he will, he will drop the Uchi Katana if you kill him. And that is a fan favorite in these games. So, if you're really itching to start out with the, with the Katana... The Uchi Katana, then, then you know you might want to get this. You you might want to kill this guy, but uh, I'm gonna keep him alive. Um, I don't know. I just I'd rather have the vendor, and because um, I don't think I'll be using the Uchi Katana, I'm gonna try to get my hands on the Claymore first. That, that's the Claymore is Baymore. That's I'm I'm one of them guys. I like the Claymore uh, in Dark Souls Three. I used it for the whole game, so we're gonna. Um, I'm, and I think I know where the Claymore is in this game. So, alright, you want to get this residence key. It's going to prove to be useful in a minute, minute, minute in this video. I'll show you where you open a door. So, you definitely want that. Bam. And then, um, you know, then you got your, your weapons that you can grab. Um, the club is decent. The reinforced club is even better. Um, so, there's them. Um, but we got our morning star right now. The east west shield ain't bad either. Definitely not. Um, I, I think it's close to a hundred percent deflection rate. I'm not sure, but um, we're actually about to uh, have a chance for to get one of the black knight shields. So definitely wait on that and see what you get from the black knight when you kill him. And then um, here are your arrows. Now you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna want. Um, where is it? You're going to want a bow and arrow from this guy. Short bow. All right, so let's try it. Let's go ahead and use our... Cons <laughs> oh. i got to find all... i got to remember all everything. All right. Um, browse items. Alright, so we're gonna want to use all of our soul shit. Alright, so now we got our, a couple soul. We got almost 2,000 souls. <laughs> Normally you would want to level up in the beginning, but I'm gonna grab these items now because, like I said, they're gonna prove to be useful and you'll get a lot of souls out of what I'm going to show you guys so don't worry about it just grab them then and then there you know there's armor you can grab some chain mail shit so if you want to you know change your look up or you just want a different gear you, you can buy that um and this bottomless box it's not you don't really need it because um in this game you know what you carry doesn't affect your equipment load only what your equipping does but uh, it's just a little way of making things a little neater in your in your uh, inventory. So if you want that, that's what that is. So if you want, you know, if you want some, like you don't want to go through a bunch of items, then that's your item to buy. Um, I don't really care about that though. So moving on. All right. So grab the short bow. It's a thousand souls. Bam. And then you're gonna want to standard arrows are fine. They're the cheaper ones. You're going to want to buy around 50 if you can. Let's see if we can. 50 should do the trick. I say 50 because, you know, you might miss a couple times. Um, you might not need exactly 50, but... What the fuck? Oops. Um, Alright, maybe I can't buy 50 yet. Oh yeah, I see the soul meters here. What do I got? I got 448. Alright, so 44 I can buy. That should be enough. But, um, probably come back. 
You grab 50 at least. Or there's a couple more. Alright. So, now that we got that, you can put it, use it, and equip it. And, um, let's see. I guess I'll put it on our right. Bam. And go to arrows, put stand. Oh, look, I have 94 of them. I, I've picked up arrows, so we're definitely good on them. I didn't even have to use as many souls as I did. So, we, we got, we're stocked up with ammo. We're good. What, Lucy? That was a pathetic little meow, baby girl. Come on, act like you're spoiled. You guys act like you're starving. You're spoiled. You're spoiled, kitty. Get. Gosh. Come here. Come here, little girl. She's my baby. Yeah, she's my baby. Interrupting my video. You cutie pie. You're lucky you're cute. Alright. So. Moving on. Our, um, actually, wait. Hold up. Hold up, wait. Um, yeah, there's more um, to this part. Um, so let's. I don't know if there's any items. Here. Just broke his table. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. All right, Lucy. I know. I know. Come on. A little attention, or. All right. So, come through here. Ah, uh, he's clunky clunk. That's all. This, this game's very clunky. So we got a, a little mob that comes after you. Oh, wrong button. God damn it. I'm gonna take him out with one swing. Yeah, easy peasy. Alright, so we killed them. Now we wanna climb up this ladder. Item here. Some throwing knives. Cool. Um, now, let's see. We're, I'm trying to remember exactly what we got to do here. Um, that's obviously back where we are. Oh, you can jump down there. Uh, this that you'll be able to make that jump into there from here. And I think that's the whole point of this part. So, um, race yourselves. Time to jump. And that was a good, well-executed jump. <laughs> and of course, there's nothing there. Um, interesting. Ah, here we go, some steps. And we're on a balcony. And this balcony leads down to where we were. Now, okay, what's the point here? What, there has to be something. I guess not. Oh, ah, see? So um, we got, now we got a light, a light cross bolt and some standard bolts. I didn't even know about this. Um, oh, okay, cool. Found that out. Um, so that's gonna make our lives even easier, you know, with uh, what has to come. So all right, we did that. So let's hopefully this doesn't kill me, and it didn't. All right, good. Um, let me jump down here. I know there's something. There's, a, there's something to getting into that building. Um, oh, it's this way. Okay. Yep. So, come in here. And there should be a soul item right here. Yep. Bam. Alright, and now we've got everything. Um, it's, I think. I'm pretty sure. You know how these games go, though. Look at that. It's a fucking st steps to nothing. Yep. And then that, like, that's Dark Souls for you. So. Alright. Um. Now that we've done we've done all that, you wanna quickly as as fast as you can run back. Uh, look at this guy. What the fuck? He's just chilling out. He just disappeared on us. All right. So run back. And wait, hold on. I, I grabbed something. Um. What was it? 
hollow wa warrior waist cloth. Heh. Little naked boy waist cloth. <laughs> um, maybe we can wear our armor if we put the waist cloth on. Let's see. You want to play around with the armor get to get your equipment load just below um, being able to uh, what's it called Be uh, being able to so see equipment load um, I think you don't want to go past 52 with that um, let's see we're going to put this on it goes up to 27 maybe since I level my strength yeah see we're fat rolling you don't want that. You definitely don't want that. Um, so let's go. Uh, I'm not sure. What we're gonna, I'm gonna have to look that shit up for the to be. Uh, well, take this spear off because we're not using it. There we go. There we go. So now we can wear our armor because I leveled my strength up. I'll need that spear up equipped. That's, this is how you, should, you change to the bow. You know, you just hit right uh, on the D-pad. And then you can switch back to your, your morning star as well. Alright. Um, Alright. So, run through this way. Where we, we encounter the dragon. I think this door opens from the uh, the cave, or it just opens. I'm not sure. Um, we got a, we got our item here. Um, I did pick up two shields that we can check out, but I'm pretty sure the warrior shield you start out with is better than those shields. Usually, that's the case. And for a while, your starting gear is supposed to be pretty good. You keep it for a little while. Um, all right, so we did we've done everything at this point. To, uh, in this area, so I'm gonna come up here and look the player that died. Huh? Um, and, uh, yeah, so here's the bonfire. Um, so at this point, you can go ahead and hit that bonfire um, and use your soul items to get, you know, maybe a level up in if you can. So let's go ahead and do that. even be a level up, but it's a very low level, yeah, alright, so you need 793 souls to level up, okie dokie, so let's go over here and see what we got, oh shit, we got, we just spawned everything, by that, you're going to spawn everything back, and it's weird how I, I only have five Estus flasks now, oh, oh shit, we just got caught, caught up homie, caught up, <laughs> oh, pause it up until you get back, oh fuck, my button's not even working on my phone, whatever, alright, so, yeah, don't get caught up like I just did. Maybe it lets you, to help you out, start you out with 11, and now I only have 5, so that's kind of sucks. But why do I seem like I'm slower? Am I slower because of the equipment? Might be. shield, that's shit, get your souls back, and then, um, oh nice, we got a battle axe, that might be better than that, 
Let's check it out. I'm getting a lot of good drops. And also the Zweihander. Yeah, that's a very good weapon um, to use for, um, you know, your, uh, for a, uh, what's that, what's that called again? <laughs> See, I can't even think of names and share. I can't talk very good right now. Um, the build that I'm doing, strength and dexterity build, pure build, or, uh, I'm sorry, quality, quality build. That's what we're going for. A quality build is that where you level strength and dexterity up pretty much at the same rate. And uh, that'll pr prove nice because it'll basically open the door to using all the weapons in this game. Especially if it's your first playthrough and for a Dark Souls game and you want to, you know, use all the weapons and figure shit out. Now, this battle axe is doing more damage than the Morning Star. So, um, we're going to go ahead and use it. Um, the weight is four on it, four pounds it seems. I think that's the weight. And then um, where's the Morning Star? So it's the same weight as the, uh, and it does more damage. Um, may not have the bleed effect, or it does I think actually more of a bleed effect if that if that's what that is. Um, so yeah, let's do that. We're gonna. Um, why can't I use it? Why can't I use it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's got a poise effect, but no bleed. It's got, yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out why I can't use it. I guess um, my stat. I, you know, I'm gonna have to level up strength, maybe. Um, it seems. Um, but I'm not seeing where it tells you what you need for it. Which is very weird because I usually can figure these games out pretty easily. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's my stats. I don't know. Whatever, we'll use it when we can. All right, so that's good to have for now. Um, this is gonna unlock the door. No, it's not. Huh? All right, so we can't unlock that yet. We'll have to figure that one out. I think you come back to it. Alright, so let's see what's in this shit. Got our Scally boy. Alright. Oh. Scary Scally. Die Scally. Um. Can't jump through there. Just peel that through. in here. I love the way things break in this game. So satisfying just to roll through shit. Oh look, alright, so we got a chest. Cool. Oh shit, do not break the chest. So just hit the wrong button. Uh, if you break the chest, you'll lose the item forever. So, Alright, black firebombs. Very, very useful. A lot more useful than in the other games. So, you want to keep them on deck. For a moment, you're gonna really need them. Um, Alright, so we, we got that. Alright. So, this is the way we came in. Um, so, let's go ahead and clear this whole area. Alright, skellies. Alright, so down here is where we're going to fight our Black Knight. Uh, we're not doing that yet. Um, so this opens the door. That's why you, would have to buy, you had to buy that. Alright. And I think actually if you, if you go with that key th master thing, um, you, you can unlock it anyway. But whatever, that's fine. So... This gives you a chest, and it's going to give you some pine resin. Pine resin is going to be really nice to when you fight your first boss. It'll do a significant amount of damage. Now, the Black Knight is down there, if I remember correctly. 
and that's where you're going to fight him. But what you you're, what you're basically going to do is you're going to draw him out, and then you're going to want to fight him right right there. That's the best spot to fight him, so you can kind of circle around him and backstab whore him out. Okay. Um, and also, I see we got a ladder over here. So let's check this out. Uh, yeah, so you would run over here and kill these fuckers. Oh my god. You should make this asshole fall or just kill him. Then you got your soul item. So we're good on that. Um, that's it for this. Almost. Oh. Let's do a little jump move on him. And, and um. Let's see what do we got down here. You're gonna have to learn that backstab, so you're gonna want to practice it a lot. Cause um, it's, you gotta do it. You gotta be able to do it for a couple things. Um, so it's looking like we have figured out everything in this area up to the Black Knight. Um, I'm pretty sure we're, we did. So, we got the Black Knight coming up. So, let's go back, make sure um, everything's good on that end. Um, I'm going to pop a S just to get my health up. I don't like having half health, running around with half health. It's got to be full sometimes for me. That's just how I like it. Um... All right, yeah, we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and heal up, or hit the Estus and get a level up before we fight this Black Knight. And it's always, you know, um, a good idea. Oh, let's see what attunement. Let's see, it does physical defense slash. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't do equipment load. That's odd. Um, what does do equipment load? Equipment load is endurance. That's nice. So. Endurance and stamina are linked together. That's always cool. Um, our strength is pretty high for now. Um, dexterity, we're wanting to level up, but it's cool for now. Um, I'm not sure what the requirements on the battle axe are yet, though. So if you want to use that, you might want to level up strength. I'm sure it's a strength weapon. But for now, I'm going to go with vitality just because I want we, we want more HP. And that's always a safe bet. So, bam. And same with endurance. You're, no matter what build you are, you're gonna want to level them up. Um, now, let's see if we have any um, soul items, and we do. Always use your soul items to get your get a level up in if you can. And um, we're just shy of a level for that. So, um, did I check the stairway? This stairway. I don't know if I did. Oh, it's broken. But look, there's more to it up there. So obviously somehow you can get there. Uh, I'm sure it's later on. Now, we have some humanity. Uh, I thought I hot barred it, but I didn't. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the humanity. And then we're gonna rush to the bonfire and then hit reverse hollowing. That's gonna put, make us a human again, and that will help you because you are when you're a zombie, you take more damage, you do less damage, you know the whole nine. So go ahead and kill the respawns. All right, so you gotta. All right, that's the sweet spot. That's the, I think I found it. Definitely want to play around with that until you get the sweet, the sweet spot. All right. Jesus Christ! Those dudes are just fucking hammering you with that. Oh my goodness! Come on! Come on! All right. Christ, come on. Oh my god. Did he just fucking heal himself? What a prick. Alright, you know 
want. That that was just so a fucking wash. <laughs> I might have to, I should just call the video here actually. Um Alright, yeah. So that's the video for now guys. Um this is how you get up towards the Dawn Dead Parish. Um so for the next video we're gonna hit up the Black Knight and then um we'll be and then we'll be at the entrance where and then there's gonna be a dragon ahead, that dragon you saw earlier. So yeah, there's uh the second episode of Dark Souls. Please like and subscribe and then we will be pro progressing more further. And uh yeah, so have a good day ladies and gentlemen and a good weekend. Uh love y'all. Bye.